Hello my dear students and welcome once again to Zenith Academy online. Today we are doing endocrine glands chapter from ICSC class 10 biology. And in this video lesson we will be talking about the gland thyroid. Okay. So let's begin our lecture. First of all you should understand the anatomy of thyroid. Okay. So the thyroid is a bilobed. You can see here in the diagram there are two lobes of it. It is a, I will take a um, laser pointer. It is a bilobed. Can you see there is one lobe and there is this another lobe. So thyroid is a bilobed butterfly shaped structure. Can you see this looks something like a butterfly. So thyroid is a bilobed butter shaped, uh, bilobed means butterfly shaped structured situa uh, situated in front of the neck just below the larynx. So you can see this is the larynx. So, just below the larynx, you can see a thyroid gland. Okay. Now, this is these are the two lobes. I will take a pen and show you. Okay. So, you can see this is one lobe. This is one lobe. Okay. And this is another lobe. Okay. And they are joined by this narrow part. Okay. This is known as isthmus. Can you see? Isthmus. So, below the larynx. Okay, thyroid gland is present, it is butterfly shaped and it is joined through, these two lobes are joined by a narrow isthmus, isthmus means an interconnection. Okay, now this thyroid gland secretes two hormones, first is thyroxine and next is calcitonin. Now in many of the textbooks you will see different spellings of thyroxine, so it can, uh, this is also correct but we will write E here in front of it thyroxine okay so remember that calcitonin is not in our portion right now this is not in our syllabus we have to study only thyroxine so let's talk about thyroxine it regulates the basal metabolism you know what is the basic metabolism that is the rate of cellular oxidation the oxidation that ha happens in each and every cell cellular respiration we can say the rate of cellular oxidation results in heat production at rest so whenever the body is at rest thyroxine helps in the basal metabolism basal metabolism matlab ki jo cellular oxidation hota hai jiski wajah se heat production hoti hai when the body is not working okay now at in an increase in the secretion increases the metabolism and a decrease in the secretion lowers the metabolism. Okay. So, what is its main function? It regulates the basal metabolism. If its secretion is more, if the level of thyroxine is more, then metabolism increases. Okay. And if the secretion is less, then the metabolism decreases. Now, it also influences the general growth of the body. Okay. So, Many a times you must have seen even in your uh, textbook there is a picture of a sheep right. So one sheep is growing normally in the other sheep they have removed the thyroid gland. So if the thyroid is not there thyroxine will not be released so the growth of the body will not take place. So it will be a dwarf okay. So first function is it regulates the basal metabolism and second it influences the general growth of the body. Also ossification of bones and body temperature maintenance and maintenance of mental development of our body. Okay, Ma maintenance of mental development. Now what happens when there is an under secretion means less secretion. This is known as hypothyroidism. Okay, so insufficient secretion of thyroxine may lead to three conditions. Simple goiter, cretinism and mixed edema so we'll be talking about all three let's talk about first simple goiter so simple goiter is the enlargement of the thyroid so can you see in this diagram this is the normal thyroid okay can you see this is the thyroid cartilage below there there is thyroid and this is the trachea so this red butterfly shaped bilobed this is thyroid okay and here can you see this is enlarged so much so there is a swelling in the neck also. So simple goiter is the enlargement of thyroid and is visible as a swelling in the neck. Okay, so how do we know that the goiter has enlarged by the visible swelling in the neck? So you can see this picture here. This is how it is visible from outside. So this is due to insufficient quantity of iodine in the food. 
okay so this condition is very common in the people living in hilly regions you can see there is a picture i have taken uh, of women uh, living in hilly region you can see all of them are suffering with goiter can you see that okay all of them are suffering with goiter you can see the enlargement here okay so this is due to insufficient quantity of iodine in food this condition is common in the people living in hilly regions वेर आयोडीन इज डेफिशियंट इन द सॉइल तो वहां की जो मिट्टी है उसी में आयोडीन की कमी है Hence, जो भी वहां पे फूड ग्रो होता है उसमें भी आयोडीन की कमी होगी राइट सो इन द फूड इनटेक ओनली देर इज लेस आयोडीन सो ना यू विल से मैम आयोडीन हाउ आयोडीन इज रिलेटेड टू थाइरॉइड ओके राइट नाउ वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द डिजीज इज ओके वेर वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट अंडर सिक्रीशन ऑफ थाइरोक्सीन so now you are seeing that uh, this is due to deficiency of iodine so let me tell you iodine is the active ingredient in the production of thyroxine in our body so thyroid deficiency are common in many parts of india the use of iodized salt you must have heard about salt which is iodized so when you go to a supermarket next time when you buy salt next time check they write iodized salt okay so iodized salt is the salt which contains iodine so the use of iodized salt in food is recommended why it is recommended because iodine is the active ingredient in the production of thyroxine so if we have food which is rich in iodine if we intake iodine through food okay then it helps in the production of the hormone thyroxine by thyroid gland okay now the next disease is cretinism so it is a condition which affects the growth of children cretinism is seen in children showing dwarfism okay the height of the kid, uh, child remains small and mental retardation this is due to defective development or early atrophy what do you mean by early atrophy of thyroid means degeneration of the thyroid the thyroid gland itself degenerates okay so that is known as early atrophy degeneration of the thyroid so what is this condition there is mental uh, retardation and there is dwarfism you can see here now next is mixed otema it is a condition that affects an adult if his thyroid does not function properly now in this condition the person becomes sluggish very lethargic sluggish with swelling of the face and hands you can see here so you can see the hair also becomes dry coarse and sparse uh, the eyebrows becomes lateral uh, the lateral eyebrows becomes thin uh, there is periorbital edema you can see the swelling mostly below the eyes okay and even here the puffy dull face with dry skin so it is a condition it which affects adult if his thyroid is not functioning properly the person becomes sluggish and there you can see even the swelling in hands and here you can see overall swelling or puffiness in the face now what happens due to over secretion okay less secretion was hypothyroidism and over secretion is hyper hyperthyroidism now excess of thyroxine secretion may also cause a kind of goiter called exophthalmic goiter so this is another type of goiter which is known as exophthalmic goiter okay where exo means outward and ophthalmus means eye okay so it is seen like this okay so thyroid is enlarged okay see inside is the normal size and outside is the enlarged thyroid can you see then here since it is exophthalmic so outer eyes the eyes will bulge out pop out so there are bulging eyes and you can see in the neck also there is goiter so a person having the problem of over secretion shows a marked increase in the metabolic rate his metabolic rate will increase rapid heart beat shortness of breath saans phoolne lagti hai then eyes are protruded the eyes are protruded uh, it also forms a goiter in the neck okay so let's revise what what happens due to improper functioning of thyroid under secretion that is hypothyroidism causes three diseases simple goiter cretinism and mixotema simple goiter is the enlargement of thyroid 
Cretinism means dwarfism and mental retardation. This happens in children. Myxodema happens in adults. This is swelling of face and hands and sluggishness. Okay. Now hyperthyroidism that is over secretion causes exophthalmic goiter that is protruding eyes, increased metabolism, shortness of breath, restlessness and so on. So I hope this part is very very clear to you. So if you have liked the class, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Share it with all your friends and keep the learning always on. Do not forget to watch our next video on the next endocrine gland. And then we are coming up with physics videos. Many students have told me to take uh, for uh, radioactivity, sound and all those topics. So I will be sharing those videos shortly. So stay tuned on Zenith Academy Online.